Welcome back, dumb pesky citizens that support the blue line no matter what. Uh, so, for Miranda purposes, once somebody invokes their right to remain silent, I cannot ask you incriminating questions or questions related to your crime without a lawyer present. I must stop. Sounds pretty reasonable. It's pretty easy, right? Sounds like these cops are violating that when he said, I have no comment. He didn't really say, I want a lawyer and I don't want to talk to you without representation, but he doesn't need to. He's saying, I had no comment. That means he doesn't want to talk to you guys. When you have one, two, three, four, five, and the cop's camera is six cops surrounding a guy sitting down, anything you ask him is going to be perceived by the court as coercion. Any lawyer will be able to say any statements that this guy made was coerced. It was not voluntary. Therefore, since you did not Mirandize him, remember, for Miranda to apply, you must have custody. Custody, for this case, the court will rule he was in custody. Why? Because no reasonable person would think they have the right to leave when you have six cops surrounding you. That's not reasonable that you have the right to leave. Therefore, you are detained. You are in the cop's custody. Therefore, Miranda should apply when I start asking you questions about your offense. Now, what the cops will say and what the DA will try to say is these were investigatory questions. They were investigating whether or not a crime occurred. Therefore, it didn't fall into Miranda. I think the court will call bullshit. These cops know they have a crime. They know that they're, they've already arrested a woman. They think there's domestic violence. They're asking him questions to determine whether or not they're in a dating relationship to to charge him with domestic violence. In fact, they end up charging him and arresting him. So anything that they say that they weren't trying to incriminate incriminating responses is bullshit. Two years. Okay. So the reason why we're out here is because we got a call of a... Notice the sergeant, the bald-headed, fat, freaking I want to arrest everybody sergeant is making all the cops stand around and listen to his superior knowledge and to show that he's in control. Fight between From who? From who? Someone that called 911. From who? Again, what happened to the no comment guy? This is the alcohol talking. You expect this as a cop. He thinks it matters who called. It doesn't. Hey, guy, we don't know who called and we don't care. When we get a call, we have to respond. I'm not sure why you're hung up on who called but it doesn't really matter. Let us investigate and try to just listen and don't say anything. That's what a reasonable cop who doesn't want to arrest everybody and stand around and be macho does. You'll notice nobody does that here because they're all pussies. It doesn't matter. Somebody called about it, man. It doesn't matter from who. It absolutely does. Independent witness. I want to understand. Here's where we're going to start quoting laws. Independent witness. Independent witness. If an independent witness solves a crime, we have, we have a case. We can arrest. We can do. He's sort of right. But if the independent witness isn't saying, I got an assault, you just have a 911 call. You have to get independent cooperation on scene that a crime occurred and that there's a victim. Neither one of these people want to claim the victim. Neither one of these people are going to testify against each other. Therefore, the only evidence you have is a 911 call, which is not enough to arrest it damn sure ain't enough for the DA to charge, and it way isn't damn sure enough for a DA to put in front of a jury. But why should cops care about any of that? We get our quota. We get to arrest. We got nothing else better to do. Fuck you. And four men taking a woman down, hog in her. So my guess is this guy has had drinks pretty recently, and he's probably getting more under the influence he's getting here because he's getting more upset. He probably feels intimidated that six cops have him detained and that he didn't do anything. He's upset that his girlfriend. To me, this is all reasonable behavior for a person that doesn't have an influence. If I hadn't been drinking at all and I saw the cops arresting my girl, I'd be like, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you doing that? Why are you guys being dicks? We aren't committing a crime. So even though alcohol is a factor, it isn't a factor unless the cops want to make it a factor. And that's what you did. Where is she? And I'm here. I'm here. Where is she? It's really none of your business. He has no right. But because he's on the influence and he's upset, I understand where he's coming from. I, I, it's easy to talk somebody down and not arrest them, people. I mean, you guys cut cops too. You just, if a cop just plays the law, I'm doing a job, you could do this, I'm going to give you one more chance, you're going to jail. You automatically back the cop. 
It's all bullshit. Neither one of these people are crooks that deserve to be in jail. If you believe that, then you're part of the problem. You put her in cuffs and you hogtied her where? And put her where? Yeah, I can tell you, I just saw her. She wasn't hogtied. She was in cuffs, absolutely, but she was not hogtied. So this guy is kind of trying to have a conversation, but any, any cop that's been around for a while knows you don't get in a circular of illogical logic, circular round around, I said this, you said that, that's not what we did. It just doesn't work unless you want to aggravate the drunk person because you're not drunk. You're voluntarily trying to escalate this, not being on the influence. He's doing it because he's under the influence. Who's the real asshole? You didn't put her down on all fours? I didn't. I just, got her. Uh, okay. I just walked by her. Okay. Her Whatever you want to do, mm. as a man who is in a relationship with her, you understand my predicament. I totally get it. To me, this is not a, this is a no-brainer. I get it, dude. I don't blame you. I'm not sure what happened. I can find out, and I can even answer it for you. But you yelling and raising your voice and creating a disturbance is just going to give some fat, ball-headed pussy cop a reason to arrest you. Right? No, I'm here to try to understand with you. I don't understand what's going on. So, like you said, there's not one. Who reported it? Who's the so, You want to understand. And I am her. You want to understand. I'm, I'm, I'm her man. You, you can and no one's to them. I'm here trying to help you understand. You okay. Talk You're not. Who believes, raise your hand if you think this cop is here to help anybody. You're fucking bullish. These cops are not. If I pulled up to this scene and saw this freaking gaggle fuck on a dude who was sitting on a bench who's arguing with his girl because they got drunk, I'd be like, I'm fucking out of here. Y'all don't need me and I don't need to fucking be here. This is bullshit. Or I'd be like, hey guys, I'll handle this. You guys can leave. I don't need you. You guys leave. There's not a set of balls in this whole group. And I'm not sure how she identifies, maybe, but whatever. Talk about it? Yeah, let's talk okay, about so it. Okay, so like the other officer was saying, my sergeant was saying, there's a 911 call out here about a fight. Okay? Who? You gotta understand, it doesn't matter. Who you're is a 911 call? You're at a hotel in public. So this cop right here is trying to do a pretty reasonable job of not escalating. This is probably the only cop here that I think kind of tried to do it. But... You got to realize he's got these forces of all his peers and his sergeant who's going to come out here and be a tough guy to where he doesn't have a choice. I think if all these cops and a sergeant wasn't here, this guy would not have arrested. I think. Could be wrong, but that's what I'm going with. It doesn't matter who called. You're oh doing God. this where everybody can see it and anybody can call about it. Oh my now, God. Who called about it doesn't matter. The fact that somebody saw that, they called you, described you, we found you, and y'all are doing some shenanigans out here, all right? So we're out of here to talk now, to y'all. Allegedly, right? So now this guy wants to jump onto his drunk lawyer position and he wants to start arguing legal. This is what all drunks do. This doesn't surprise me. I think it's dumb. I think the guy's wrong. I think he's just pissing off the cops. But even all that, he does not deserve to be booked like a criminal. I mean, people just have taken getting arrested now as like a normal course of life. You can go out to buy groceries, and if you get arrested, it's no big deal. It's just normal. It shouldn't be normal. And cops ought to have to be held accountable when they do it. I mean, that is like right under the only other force that they could use other than arrest you and take you to jail and beat you is kill you. Those three things should take a lot of justification, and they don't. And it's wrong. And it's bullshit. And that's allegedly, why we're having a conversation. Right? Allegedly. So we got to talk to people that have been seeing stuff out here. Allegedly. Okay. I want to keep that clear. Allegedly. Right? Isn't that proper? Camera, camera, camera. Allegedly, someone says that something was going on here. But you didn't observe anything, right? Yeah, that's not how it works, man. So did gotta, you, did you observe? See? Why are you arguing with Let him talk. Let him run his mouth. Either you don't have a charge and you leave, or you hang around till you excite him and get a charge. But Rick, they're investigating and they're talking to the witnesses. They're, they're, this, the, the problem that you people don't see that come here and defend this shit, this is not going to get charged 
No, the DA isn't going to charge. He's going to dismiss all this bullshit. He's going to say the cops probably shouldn't have arrested you, but they had probable cause. And you people think a probable cause arrest is a great thing. Probable cause is, I believe, a crime committed and you're involved in the crime. Do I believe a crime was committed? Do I think they were arguing? Maybe. Yeah, I probably think they were arguing. Do I think that a crime was committed that need government intrusion and give these guys records and take somebody to jail? Absolutely not. Do I think if I arrest on what I've seen so far that the DA is going to charge? Not no, but hell no. So then in my book, the arrest was a waste of fucking time other than to show that you're tough and to get a stat. That's it. That's why pesky citizens who pay taxes and go do work and go have a drink at night, that's why you go to jail. And if you're okay with that, you're part of the problem. Anything going on over here. I, I but I saw my girlfriend with four officers putting her down and tying her up. That's what I Most saw. Most likely they found a problem with cause of some sort of crime. I wasn't here for that. But no, these folks, mm -hmm. yeah, they probably put her handcuffs and hog ties. That's something we do. Uh, that's what I... So this cop which is wrong. He's trying to talk to him, calm down, but he doesn't get that he isn't. Now he wants to get into definitions of hog tying with a drunk. You just don't, you don't go there unless you want to arrest and you want to upset him and you want to have this useless conversation that's going to go nowhere. I mean, you, you learn that over time. When you're dealing with drunks, just shut up, let them talk, do your job. Either you got a crime and you take action or you don't and you leave. I saw, I saw that. So what, what, convince what, what's me what's wrong. What's the hog tie on you? What's hog tie? I just want to make up sure. I'm putting her down on all fours, putting her both hands behind her back right. and her feet, and using ties to apprehend her. That is a hog so, tie for so me. I walked up here just a couple minutes ago. She was walking on her two feet with a handcuff, metal handcuffs, just like you use behind her back. That is what. So what the cop is not understanding, and what cops learn that hog tying is is a hog tie for a cop is a person is in handcuffs and then you secure their feet and you connect the feet and the handcuffs. That's a traditional law enforcement hog tie. I taught it. It's called hobbling. It, it's very effective on somebody that's kicking. Some agencies allow it. Some agencies don't. But a common cop term for that is called hog tying. It's actually a hobble restraint on the feet connected to the handcuffs so the person can't get up and he can't kick. And it's for violent, aggressive people who are trying to kick and get up and run away. Perfectly legal, not a bad thing, but it's not something I want to get in an argument about with a guy who's been drinking when he's got five cops surrounding him and he just saw his girlfriend arrested. It's just not the time to talk about it, people. No, no, so, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I've never I'm seen wrong. that in department ever. I've been here I'm wrong. Years. Okay. All right. Yeah, we don't hog time. Like okay. you said, it'll be on video camp if we did. I'm sorry if that, that's what Dude, you saw, but we didn't I, do that. I have no problem with the police. I love you guys. Wow. Wow. This will go over great with the jury. So, he supports law enforcement, but he was wrong. And and he, and he said he was upset, and he, and he said hog tie, and it was the wrong definition. And obviously, he's drunk. And obviously, he said that she was probably combative, so he knows that she was violent. It's probably good he went to jail. Let's just convict him. Let's not look at the intent and spirit of the law. Let's not look at how the cops just freaking arrest everybody for stupid shit and they ought to be held accountable. No, no. Let's just try and justify for the cops to support their tyrannical bullshit. But this is up. This is up. You know, I'm out here trying to do Any decent cop goes to every call looking for a way not to arrest. Let me repeat that. Any decent, real cop goes to a call looking for a reason not to arrest. How can I handle this call without taking somebody to jail? That's what you normally do. Now, obviously, if I'm going to call and I get there and somebody's stabbed, bleeding, or shot, somebody's going to jail. But I'm not going to go to every call trying to see if I can arrest everybody I contact. That is the first sign of tyranny in a pussy-ass department. Yeah, man. What he was saying, he just wanted to remain so anonymous. He wants to remain anonymous. This is the, the ball-headed fat sergeant 
who arrested a woman, Mr. Tough Guy. What's going on? He just wants to remain anonymous, meaning you don't have a complainant, meaning if they arrest them, they're going to have to subpoena this guy, and he's probably not going to show up. He's going to say, I don't remember. He's not going to talk. This is the case that no reasonable cop is going to arrest because, like, dude, we ain't got a case the DA is going to dismiss. Notice I said any reasonable cop. These freaking pussies, especially this guy. Hey, dude, I'm easy to find. Come on. I'm on live every Saturday. You're more than welcome to come on and debate me on how tough and how this was justified. Please come on and, and defend yourself and show me how unreasonable and what a dumbass I am. Okay? Because I'm calling you a fat, tyrannical, bullshit, ball-headed, pussy cop. Please come on my live any Saturday night, 7 p.m. Texas time, every Saturday. Freaking pussy. And he was out there yelling and cussing at her. He was out here yelling and cussing at her. Okay. He was out here yelling and cussing at her. They had an argument. They had a verbal dispute. She didn't want to press charges. He didn't want to press charges. They're both drinking. Why are you arresting him? Well, Rick, if they leave, they could hurt each other. They've already arrested her. There's no danger of him yelling at her again. She's protected. Where is the crime, people? So it was loud enough to where it drew the attention of another person, so. Mm -hmm. You're under arrest. Wow, he's tough. You're under arrest. Wow. Wow, that sergeant's good. Man, when I become a sergeant, I want to be like him. You're a pussy, dude. I'm under arrest. Yeah, go with the and you're bald. How about that? So, stand up. Go ahead and stand up. Yes, yes sir. Line up. Yes, sir. Notice the guy? Yes, sir. I'm cooperative. I support the cops. Just like a good sheep should. Founders be rolling over in their graves. They saw how Americans were treated now, and we were like, oh, no problem. Yes, sir, government. Hell, if the Redcoats were still in charge, we'd be freaking buying them coffee when they arrested us and shot us in the streets. During the Boston Tea Party, when they shot people, we'd be like, good jobs, Redcoats. Just don't shoot me. Freaking ridiculous how far this damn country become pussified and scared of cops and government. Split your hands. Oh, so they're not even arresting him for arguing. They're not even arresting him for arguing with his wife. They're arresting him for disorderly and drunk. Oh, wow. Those are, when you hear those charges, you know it's good. Man, you know the cops are doing a good job and they're, they're good cops if they're arresting for that bullshit. Really? Okay. Fucking pussies all over. So I got a third party that sat there and witnessed between you and her. Um, I was on the corner and you had her all pinned up against the wall. And oh, now it, now it's all pinned up. A few minutes ago, he just heard him yelling. Now he's got her all pinned up against the wall. All this from a person that wants to remain anonymous, that doesn't want to press charges, that doesn't want the cop to arrest anybody. That's why I tell you when you get government in charge, you can't get them out, and you're lucky if you don't get shot and killed. And unfortunately, there's too many pesky citizens running around now with that attitude. As long as the cops don't kill me, I'm pretty lucky. I should support them. Perfect! Why don't you move to fucking China, all you communist bullshit idiots? Okay. Wow. It's not going to be this Explorer, but it's going to be the Tahoe. Really? So now, of course, I'm sure they released body cam of her. I didn't watch all this. I don't know all she says. She makes some threats. She's going to sue. Well, she does what drunk people do. But you all want to listen to the homeless guy there. Really? Um, this is weird. You guys are ridiculous. I for this girl, if anybody sends her this video, you want your lawyer to call me for any advice, any expert conclusion, etc. I'll be more than happy to work with your attorney for free. Feel free to contact me. You can contact me through the comments or on my live. Somebody will let me know if you're trying to contact me in the comments. I've done nothing wrong. Just waiting for Uber to go home. If y'all want to listen to the homeless guy of his bull well, once I get And that offer goes for the guy too. So it's not just her and I'm not trying to get in her pants and I'm not doing this because she has big tits and all the other bullshit reasons. I'm doing this because I think the cops are out of control, wrong, and they're earning the hate. And this is bullshit arrests, and they're fucking wrong.
and I, if I can be in any way of assistance in making them pay, well, then I'll be a happy little camper. Get a phone call, ability to Dunwoody. Absolutely. This is ridiculous. I agree. People talk. I agree. You part the car because we have a 17th birthday with my aunts and uncles. This is where you need to learn when you say no comment, I don't want to talk to the cops. You don't talk to anybody. It's very hard for drunk people not to talk. I get it. But if you want to protect yourself, keep your mouth shut. Instead of assuming, I sued my lawyer and he de I debarred him. <laughs> she's, she's me. If she said that, I was in the car and be laughing. I mean, look, I, I get it. You may have money. You may have sued your lawyer. You may have got him disbarred. Good for you. I don't like most freaking lawyers anyway. However, saying this, you're on camera and it's not going to help your case. But whatever. My salon, my business has been vandalized through homeless people. So that's her probably disgust. This justifies why she went off on this homeless guy, why she's focusing on him. So the cops don't do shit to the homeless. She's trying to run a business. They cost her money. And guess what? The cops arrest her. Perfect. Hey, we sh how about this video? I'll name this. How to earn support from pesky citizens and be a good cop for your community. You freaking idiots. You guys are going to listen to these people? You are done. I'm going to blast this. I'm going to put this in the AJC. Good for you. This is ridiculous. I agree. The hotel, the homeless guy, night and day, it worked their asses off. You just took you two this guy, and you just took two people who pay day and night, night and day, it worked their asses off. You just took you two people away. Jesus Christ. She's exactly 100% right. You had two working, productive members of the community trying to make a living who had a little too much to drink and your idea of giving them service and protecting and serving the shit out of them is turning them. Who thinks that these two idiots are going to support the cops after this? I would like to say they wouldn't. Unfortunately, I think they will. No one hit me. Sometimes it just doesn't get along. Sometimes you just don't get along. Exactly. There's cameras right there to the right. Right there. Look up, officer right there to the right do it and i will challenge you and i will f sue the f out of you guys <laughs> i like her spirit i will say that i pay you all i donate i did the dunwoody f donation i do brookhaven donation i am salon over at park place i'm friends with brian olson name dropping saying she's done all this i don't, I don't like it i don't think it changes anything it just demonstrates that she's out of the influence, that she's not making good decisions. It doesn't mean she should get a lifetime arrest record and be booked in jail like a common criminal. You can hate. I know there's going to be people that'll be like that. I'm just telling you. As a reasonable cop, when I worked, I did not try to arrest anybody that was a productive member of the community. I tried to help people in the community who were trying to do good. And I tried to be a pain in the ass to criminals and crooks who did bad. I thought I was doing the right thing. That's the way I would be a cop today. And that's not how cops are today. And that's why they don't have my support. Alon's Bakery. I am Park Place. You want to f with this? You're going to put me in jail for what? I see those cameras right there. <laughs> see everything. Do not defund what I give. I am New York. And I okay, the fact that you're saying you're New York, you may be a fucking liberal, which makes you a dumbass. But my offer still goes, I'll help your attorneys free of charge, even though I don't like liberals and I don't like helping them. But most liberals don't support the cops, so I'm kind of conflicted. You're from New York and you support cops. That's kind of odd. I believe in the officer. I am a Republican, God damn it! Oh, wait a minute. I take it back. Now I'll absolutely help your lawyer. <laughs> not that I like Republicans, but I know you're not a damn liberal. 
At least I know you're not a dumbass liberal. Rick, you can't say that. There's liberals here and there's some good liberals and I know a liberal. No, you cannot say good liberal. There is not a good liberal. They are destroying this country in a thousand ways. So don't get me started on my left wing, right wing bullshit. Okay? Wait. You take me out of this. I donate to Dunwoody. <laughs> I go to Dunwoody. <laughs> this is alcohol talking. I don't care. I don't care what she says. If she admitted to, I helped kill Kennedy, I can help kill you. I'm not going to add charges of threats and support. I, I tell the crazy cop story where the guy told me that they were going to bomb me and my partner's car because the gang was after us because we had arrested so many of their members and there was a hit out on us. And I didn't even arrest him for threatening us. We drove him around and told him to point out who said it. We didn't add charges. The only thing I did is made a memo is that, hey, if my car gets blown up, contact this dude because he knows who said they were going to bomb us. That's all I did. I didn't try to make a federal case out of it. You pussy-ass cops are probably going to want to charge her for threats now. Ball. I go to Brookhaven Ball. I donate <laughs> to you police officers because I believe in you. <laughs> if I was with her right now, I, I mean, I'm serious. When I talk to people, like, I'd be like, look, you're admitting to all these other crimes that you donate and it kind of sounds like a bribe. Would you like to admit that you cheated on your taxes? No, I did not. Okay, would you like to admit that you were involved in any other crimes? Because this is all being recorded. And the more you talk, it's going to be used against you. You probably shouldn't be saying this. I would be saying that on camera. It's not some secret. I would just be saying it because that's who I am. ...and believe in protection. Sir, I didn't do anything to anybody. They got defunded. They get defunded. See, re this is what you call reality hitting you right square in the face. All these times you were being a dumbass, supporting cops, paying for more taxes, thinking cops are your friends, thinking that because you support the community, the community will support you, thinking that all the good you do will be given back to you and you won't be treated like a common criminal. This is where reality hits you in the face. All you dumbass cop supporters need to go through what she went through in order for the light bulb to come on. Until then, you're going to be just like they were. Oh, I support the cops. I give money. Cops have a tough job. They're all good. They're all heroes. We should support them. Well, that's because you're an idiot. I mean, look, if you want to go finish watching this, I don't even want to go through the whole thing. I'm at 30 minutes again. You can go watch it yourself. Uh, this is just a, a, a wealth of lessons to me on what not to do for the cops and for these two. But these will be my lowest views because people will cry in the comments and report it and the little blue line will come here and Say, I don't like this guy. He's anti-cops. He's promoting violence. He, whatever, you freaking crybabies. All right, we'll end that there.